Hey guys and welcome back to another Imagine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be expanding upon my previous video on the leveling up system and today we're going to be making sure we can save and load our level, our EXP and the EXP needed to gain to the next level. So a very simple but effective video that we're going to be going over today. So let me hit play and show you what I'm going to do. So in my testing I've already got to level 7 so I can just level up a little bit more. Let's get to level 10. So I'm going to level up a bit like this. So I'm 8, 9 and 10. Let's get to 10 and a half. If I press 2, which is my save button, which you can set to be whatever you like, exit, go back in, we're now going to be level 10 and a half again as you can see here, and this works perfectly for however many times we want to do this, it will simply just save and load our level EXP and EXP needed again as you can see here. So this is what we made today, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. And again, like I say, this is going to be advancing upon my previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make our save game which we're going to use. So for me I'm going to go to content and I have a folder here called save games. So I'm going to open that up and then make my save game in here. I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class and here we have all classes. So you want to press the drop down menu on all classes so you can then search. I'm going to search for save game like so. Just get the save game and hit select. I'm going to name this one level exp underscore save game. You can name this whatever you like, but that's going to work perfectly for me. I'm going to open this up straight away. And in here, all we want to do is want to create some variables which we want to save and load. So I'm going to hit the plus variable here, naming this one level, and I'm going to change it to be an integer. Add another variable, naming this exp, and another one called exp needed. All of these are integers, and as you'll notice, these are the same exact ones we have in our character blueprint. So this is all we need to do in here. We just need to create the variables so we can actually store them in here to save and load them. So once you've done that, we can close this and open up our character blueprint once again, which for me is content, third person VP, blueprints, third person character. And again, you can see we have level EXP, EXP needed, which are the same as the ones we just created in the save game. So that's why those are the ones that I made, because we want to save these variables. So I'm just going to find some empty space up here, right click and add a custom event naming this one save game and out of this I'm going to get a does save game exist right click the slot name promote to variable and I'm going to name this slot name one or save slot one whatever you want to name it and we're going to compile so we can change this default value I'm going to change the default value to be the name of the slot which I want this save game to be in so you can name this absolutely whatever you like but I'm going to name it level slot one Again, name this whatever you choose. And compile, save that. And then because this is returning a boolean value of true or false, we want to hold down B, left click to get a branch, so we can see if this is true or false, and then do something dependent on that value. So if it's false, the save game doesn't exist, we want to then make that save game. So false will be create save game object like so. And the save game class is going to be the save game that we've just made. So I named mine level exp underscore save game like so. And then off of true, if it does exist, we want to load that save game. So off of true, we're going to load game from slot like so. Slot name again is going to be our slot name one variable which we have just made. And the return value of load game from slot, we're going to right click, promote to variable, naming this saver subclass, which is a nice little thing off of the Unreal documentation of just a nice way to keep it all organized. And we're going to set that off of load game from slot and also off of create save game object. So you'll set it there and then just connect it in like so. And this is so we can easily reference this later on when we actually want to save to this slot because we need to know what save game object we're saving to. So having it in a variable is just a nice easy way of doing that. And then we're going to come out of the set saver subclass and cast to our save game, which for me is the level exp save game, like so. And as level exp save game, I'm going to set all of the variables which I want. So set level, connecting that in there, and then set exp, connecting that in there, and finally, last but not least, set exp needed. So those are the three variables which I want to save and load for this system. But we also need to make sure that we do set these to our current value. So I want to set these to what we have them as right now. So I'm going to just get level variable which we have in our character blueprint, connecting that in there. Same for EXP and same for EXP needed as well. 
So we're setting the value in the save game to be what they are in the level blueprint. So we're storing these values into the save game now instead. And what we want to do is we just want to do the same thing on load game. So if the save game does already exist, we're going to be overwriting these values with the current values which we want when saving them. So very simply, we can just select the cast and the sets like so, and then hit Control C, Control V to duplicate it, placing this up here like so. So now again, doing the same thing, but we're just going to override the save game now with the correct values which we want. Once again, connecting all of these values in here like so. So now we've technically set these values in there, but we need to also save this. So the actual save part is very simple. We come out of one of these and save game to slot like so. We're going to connect that into both of them. The save game object is going to be our saver subclass, which we have here. And the slot name is going to be slot name one like so. And that is very simply how we're going to save these values into our save game. So we can then load them later on, but we do need to set up the loading. So again, when we want to save the game, we're going to see if that save game does already exist. And if it does, we'll load it. If it doesn't, we're going to create it. And then depending on whether we load or saved it, we're also just going to be setting the correct values to be what they need to be, and then actually save it at the end as well. So I'm going to compile, save, and that's the saving part of this system set up. Now we also need to load it. So underneath this custom event, I'm going to right click and add another custom event, naming this one load game. So we've got save game and load game. Load game is going to be just as simple. So what I'm going to do is select the does save game exist in the branch again, because we again need to check to see if it does exist. Because if it doesn't exist, then there's nothing to load. So we don't want to try and attempt to load anything. So does save game exist true, we're then going to load save game from slot like so. Slot name once again being our variable that we made earlier. And the return value, we're just going to go straight into a cast to level exp save game or whatever it is that you've named it. And so now what we did here was we set the level from the save game with the level from our player blueprint. We want to do this the other way around. So we want to set the level in our player blueprint to the level from the save game. So what I'm going to do is as level exp save game, get level like so, and then set the level in the character blueprint like so, which we can get from the variables tab on the left over here. And then connect these up accordingly like so. So we're setting the level in the character blueprint to be what the level is in the save game, because that is how we're saving and loading these different values. We store the value in a save game, so when we come back to the game later on, the value will be the same, and then we just get it and access it from there, setting it once again. And I'm going to do this for all of them. So as level exp save game, get exp, and then again, set the exp in here like so. And then again, finally, last but not least, get exp needed, set exp needed as well, like so. So this is now going to work perfectly for us for saving and loading. But we do also need to make sure that the player knows how to do that. So what I'm going to do is very simply just use a two keyboard event to save and load when we start the game. So you can obviously set this up differently. So maybe you save on a button press in a widget. But for me, what I'm going to do is right click, get to the two keyboard event, and then save the game here. So what you do wherever you want to save it is you simply just call function save game like so. And that is going to save the game perfectly for you to save the level exp and exp needed. And then to load, again, what I'm going to do is just on event begin play. So when we open up the game, we are going to load it. So again, that is a simple call function load game like so. And now we can compile, save, and this should work perfectly for us. So we hit play, there's nothing to load just yet. So we're level zero. I'm going to go up to let's say level five and we'll save and load it again. So we'll get to level five and a half like so. Press two to save it, close this, hit play. And now we're still level zero. So let's have a look at why that didn't work. So I fixed the problem. What I did was I just deleted my save game and then remade it. So I deleted it in the folder, which you can find here. What you do is you go to the folder in which your project is saved in, go to saved, go to save games, and then just delete it like so. And that fixed the problem for me. And I believe that's probably because I already had it from when I was testing out the code earlier. So redoing this kind of bugged it out a little bit, but it does now work. And so, cause I just deleted that, when I hit play, we should be back on level zero. So let's try this again. Let's get to level five and a half like we were doing originally. So we are now at level five and a half like so. 
hit 2 to save, close this, hit play, and we are now again at level 5 and a little bit like we were there. So this is working perfectly for us as you can see here. So I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a save and load system so as you can see we are level 8. I'm going to press 2 to save the game, exit, hit play and we're still level 8 because we've got a save and load system for our level, EXP and EXP needed working perfectly like so advancing upon our previous video. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.